Hello, Mark here, and I trust you're well. And in today's Lightroom Classic Quick Tip, we're going to be looking at resetting our image file name to how we imported it into Lightroom Classic. And that could be the file name that the camera allocated it when you pressed your shutter button. Now, before we jump into Lightroom Classic, I'd like to tell you about my live Lightroom support group that I host most Monday evenings live on Zoom at 7 p.m. UK time. We look at a task, a theme, and also answer your Lightroom, Lightroom Classic, and Photoshop queries as a community. Because there's not one solution to how to do something in Lightroom or Photoshop. So if you'd like more information about my live Lightroom support group, just visit learnlightroom.co.uk. Now, without any further ado, let's jump across to Lightroom Classic. So here I am, I'm in Lightroom Classic. This is my training catalog, and I have around about 550, 560 images in here. There are legacy raw files of mine that I shot, but there's also some stock images from agencies that I have a license to use. Now, this image here that I took earlier on in 2023, I want to reset the file name. Now, why would I want to do that? Well, perhaps I've renamed it, renamed it wrong, or I've gone in the wrong direction in my renaming policy, in my preset, how I want the generic renaming to be. So I want to reset this file name. And, and just to let you know, this file naming structure is who owns the copyright, the date it was taken, the time it was taken, the camera it was taken on, and the shutter actuation number. And this is a unique file name, it cannot be reproduced. Even if I had two identical cameras side by side, both taking it at exactly the same time, the shutter actuation number will be different. So each image that I have in my catalogue has a unique number but perhaps I want to reset this file naming system. So several ways we can do it. We can come across to the metadata panel and we can see we have file name. We can just click in the file name and delete whatever we want to or change whatever we want. Just type in the box, just click in and type in the box. There's a little drop down menu at the end. You can click on that and it'll pop up the renaming uh, preset and press cancel there. We can go up to library and we can come down to file renaming. We can press F2 on our keyboard. That's the keyboard shortcut for free naming. So the first thing we need to do is create a preset. So what I'm going to do is I'm create a preset. So I'm going to go edit. And this is the uh, formula for this uh, file naming structure. So I have in here that's who owns the copyright. I have from the drop downs, you can select. So I've got date, underscore, hour, minute, seconds, underscore, and original file name. So if, freeze the, uh, if you want to take this uh, renaming uh, preset, just freeze the video and, and uh, copy what I've put in there. So I'm just going to delete those for a second. Now, what I need to do is create a preset with original file name. So we come down to our image name and it's actually the first one in the second drop down and we just press insert and it gives an original file name. And now we're going to save this as a new preset. So I'm just going to call it original. Oops. And we're going to save it as a preset and just go done. Now the nice thing about uh, renaming, it gives you the example of what it could look like. So if I press cancel, I'm just going to press G. Now I could do this on one by one image, but what I'm going to do, this is my active image on the top left hand corner. Go select all, command A, and I'm going to go library. I'm going to go file rename, and I'm going to select that preset to original. There is the first image, the active image, what it's going to look like, my file renaming. Press OK, and it's reset all my individual files back to the imported file name. So I import direct from camera straight into Lightroom. This is how it left in the camera. 
and what I do in the camera, all my Nikon cameras, I'm a Nikon photographer for my sins, each camera has I've changed the file naming structure in the camera. So I've put N or NZ, so I have NZ9, NZ8, NZ5, and then I've got N62, N72, and it tells me from the file name what camera I shot with. So I know immediately from that file name certain information. For example, I know how many megapixels that image was, 24 megapixels. So where the Z8 is 45 megapixels, so I know I can get twice as big print. So that's what that's why I put the, the name in there. So I hope today's been of help for you. If it has, please subscribe, perhaps like. If you've got a question, leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you'd like to come and join us or find out more about my live Lightroom support group, just visit learnlightroom.co.uk, click in the menu support group, and there's another video and it tells you all about it and uh, our program for the upcoming semesters. And I look forward to welcoming you to our community of Lightroom, Lightroom Classic and Photoshop users. Stay safe. Take care. Bye for now.